Welcome back and good morning. This weekend, a Central Indiana family is hoping Hoosiers will show up and help save a young life. In 2019, Brooke Parker was diagnosed with stage 4 Ewing sarcoma. It's a type of cancer that attacks the bones and soft tissue. She's been in remission now for 18 months. Unfortunately, the intense chemotherapy resulted in another cancer diagnosis, acute myeloid leukemia. That is a blood cancer. The best route here to a cure is through ordinary people like you and me. Joining me this morning to talk about Be the Match for Brooke. It's a donor drive event happening this weekend. Our Brooke's mom, Lori, and Brooke's twin sister, Maddie. Both of you, good morning. Yeah, so good, good to have you with us this morning. I want to ask you first about this journey, uh, Mom, and, and what it's been like for Brooke and what you want our viewers to know. Um, well, going through cancer once is difficult enough, but having to go through cancer for a second time makes it even a little bit more difficult. Um, Brooke is a really strong person, and she's just taken all this like a trooper. Um, the biggest part, I think, is just the unknown. We're depending on a lot of um, people out there to come out, get tested. Um, unfortunately, none of us in the family are a match for Brooke, so we're dependent on um, finding an outside donor. Originally, Brooke um, had four good donors. We've had some setbacks with that. Um, we're kind of, and so now we're kind of in a standstill right now, um, waiting to check back on a couple other donors that might be in the pipeline, or maybe we can find somebody at the drive um, mm. this weekend. Yeah, Maddie, I know that it's super easy, and sometimes when they hear what this is going to be like, they might be concerned or think, oh, gosh, do I have to have my blood taken? What do they do? And it's actually pretty simple for someone to find out. Can you tell us about the process? Well, I've actually been tested before since I was a potential to see if I could be a donor for my sister, and all you have to do is just swab your mouth, and they'll put it in a kit and send it to the registry, and they'll go through and test it to see if you are a potential potential match. So it's actually super simple and not scary at all. Hey Maddie, um, as a twin sister, um, we hear so much about the connection of twins. Can you share with us a little bit about um, what you think your sister too would want people to know and what the journey has been like for you as her, as her sister? Um, well, I'd say it's definitely been difficult to see her going through this, but I've also taken it as an opportunity to bond with her and be there for her. And I think mm -hmm. The main thing she would want to get across to people is just a thank you for mm. the continuous support throughout this entire mom journey. Lori, I understand that um, your dog and Brooke's dog is even getting involved here and in helping people through that are going through chemo. Can you share more? I mean, know it's so important for your family to give back and, and help others too. When um, Brooke was um, undergoing chemo at Peyton Manning, she really, really enjoyed um, the pet therapy. And so when she was finished with chemo the first time, that was kind of the deal. We would get her a new dog. Mm. So we got her an Australian Shepherd. She's still currently working with her. She's not ready um, okay. quite yet to be a therapy dog. But our goal is in the next year or two to kind of get her in training, be able to give back um, to, the, to the kids um, at Riley or at St. V. Like they were able to, to give to Brooke when she was there. It's such, a, it's such a big mood boost for them to see the pets. We have to hit a hard break right here um, as we go into our next half hour. But I want to be able to put up the information. This um, event is this weekend. Quickly remind everybody, where is it happening? It's happening at Tri-West Middle School in Lisbon. All right, so we'll put up that information at fox59.com. Be the match, and we sure hope that a lot of people come out and, and there's one found.